there's a wide ranging uh, issues that are addressed through the works of the artists. They range from uh, gender issues, both male and female, uh, attitudes to the human body, male and female. There are issues to do with the clash of uh, unbridled development and how it's encroaching upon uh, a country which is really agricultural and rural. We are looking at tradition um, as it is in the visual arts. So we're talking about the miniature painting tradition which comes from the Mughal Empire. Well, Imran Qureshi was trained in this highly traditional technique, which is the Mughal miniature technique in which you make your own surfaces and you grind your own colors. And the work is really much more contentious than you would think. It is about these figures who seem to be in these idyllic circumstances. They seem to have religious connotations which are aggressive. And yet he's, he's sort of tickling that assumption. So he's kind of negotiating the space between how we immediately respond and draw conclusions about other human beings, which may be totally erroneous. So he's wanting you to take a second look, which is of course what this exhibition is about. We are looking at the state of our cities, uh, which are riddled by violence um, of all kinds. Uh, we are looking at the celebration of life in many cases. We are looking at humor with which artists enjoy critiquing uh, what they see, life around them. So it's, it's really a very lively look at the here and now of Pakistan. Buffalo is an absolute staple of the Pakistani countryside and especially uh, Punjab, which is where the artist is located, where she's teaching. And it refers to her travels to the college campus outside the inner city, where over the last four or five years, she has seen the suburbs grow and, you know, life as represented by the buffalo uh, or the orchards um, or the green fields. They're constantly being encroached upon by these new villas that are being set up in these housing schemes. Uh, people who are, have made money and they want to stake their claim in the land, so they have these strange um, buildings which are a mix of Grecian architecture, uh, the Bauhaus um, and other things that they picked up from here, there and everywhere. I think it's a comment not just on um, the change in environment in a slow moving environment of Pakistan, it's also a comment on how we look at one another, how we address contradictions. All of this work has been seen in Pakistan. So it does, it does address the local audience. Because very often people sort of say, oh, but this is only work to be shown abroad. Not so. I think there is a level of curiosity within Pakistan uh, to, about work like this. I think that sometimes uh, artists draw their metaphors very directly from life around themselves over there. And consequently, you know, it, it talks to the people from whom who evolved these metaphors. So much of the work here speaks to me personally, uh, but also I think it will speak to an audience who may not experience uh, the state of living in Pakistan, but I think they're going to be able to relate to it very easily.